I was thinking about the day we met. Oh, yeah. I was in such a bad mood. Well, you know. <laughs> yeah. I had a hangover. I wake up in the middle of a sweet dream. I never got it back. Oh, I hate that. I know. I got out of bed on the wrong side and then nothing felt right. It was like anything that could go wrong would go wrong. It wasn't all bad, though. It brought me to you, didn't it? talked about. It wasn't at my best, but you were sweet, confident, nothing to prove, eyes that could drown demons. For a moment you took me back, dancing in daddy's arms before everything changed. I remembered that boy, the one that made me laugh. They said he was no good. Oh, what was his name? Have you ever had that moment when Someone is next to you and you can feel their breath, yet it seems to have no odour, like they're immune to the poison or something. Nah. Weirdo alert. I'm being a scary Mary, aren't I? A bit. But it's fine. I'm interested. Do you ever worry that you're the only person in the whole world who thinks and feels exactly like you do? As if you're destined to be alone because no one else is quite the same as you. I don't think so. I quite like the idea that we're all different. It's my greatest fear. That what makes us unique is what keeps us alone. I'm losing the plot. I think I need a checkup from the neck up. Don't we all? I never believed in that one perfect person crap, but I can't stop thinking about you. Not you. The idea. I can't stop picturing you. Your stupid face is everywhere I go. It drives me mental. I don't even know if we'd fit, but... What if movie love does exist? What if I am Heathcliff or Skinner? I had that one clue. Do you know how many Mr. Skinners there are? Yeah, more than you'd think. That's exactly right. More than I'd think. You know I'm not that one, don't you? Yeah, I know. Sorry to have troubled you. Not at all.